Hello everybody and welcome to the Learn Dota 2 League Season 17 Week 3. Today we're taking a look at Princess and the E. coli outbreak. Oh, there's the assets. Taking on Mac and Cheese. That's the big L team taking on the Hollywood team. And as always with me here today is Randy, the Doctor of Dota. Hello there. Big L team immediately knocking out the Invoker there. First ban is very... Interesting. I mean, you gotta be a very confident guy to pick Invoker on your first pick, I gotta say. Not just first pick. First pick on the entire board, really. Holy, we well, knocking out some classic, uh, classic L-team heroes. Knocking out Big l Sand King, knocking out Mighty Midgets, uh, Winter Wyvern. I don't think we've gotten to see Big L actually get the Sand King yet this season. Both of these teams, uh, on the back foot in the first couple of weeks. You would not, uh, I don't think it was widely predicted by most of the LD2L, but... Hollywood team was, is actually the one that's doing better here. Uh, taking one win into this game while Big L team is taking zero. Ten seconds remaining. We expect to see a very, very, very long high ground defense in this game. As both well, teams are very highly addicted to those. They really are, um... They're going all in on Carp in this ban phase. Which might be a mistake, I don't know if you're allowed to do that. They're just committed to making a lose mid, I guess. Maybe. Completely ignoring Matt in the safe lane, though. I'm dropping a few frames here. Hmm. Radiant team pick. Well, maybe they think Matt is lush. I don't know. Maybe. Dark Willow coming up, it seems our, uh, brief lapse and... Nope, never mind. It seems to happen whenever I talk. It seems to be upload related. How lovely. Hopefully this subsides very quickly. Luckily it won't affect the VOD at all. Viper, Dark Willow, our first two picks here on the board. First pick Viper is, uh, fairly interesting. I don't think it's, uh, that bad of an idea when it comes to the, uh, the Big L team. At least on paper. Uh, you, you know, Viper against this lineup, not a bad guy to have. But, I do, uh, I do gotta say a very early Viper like this gives me, uh, gives me... A little worry. He's very easily countered out. One of the easiest heroes to counter in the game, really. Ten seconds remaining. So easy to turn this guy into a hero that does nothing. Any silence, or remaining. any high alpha physical damage, or pure damage, if you, uh, if you like. We'll take care of him pretty easily. You know, Silver Edge buyers, you know, uh... Radiant team back. Breaks like the Hoodwink break, for example, very easy. Rubik actually pretty nasty against him now that the uh, the breaks on his ult, you can just ult him right back. Twitch is calling me unstable. That's not very nice. Probably true though. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Dire team pick. Witch Luckily, if nothing else, it won't affect the YouTube upload. Witch Doctor up now. Yeah, that's one of those heroes that's pretty bad for Viper to deal with. I mean, the, the magic resist that Viper has, very nice. 
But Viper is one of the most death ward vulnerable heroes in like the whole game. And it really doesn't matter if you're knocking out a quarter of the magic damage that's incoming when the magic damage is like 5,000 on a particularly successful Maledict. You're messing with them up and just like awkwardly slowly walking away from. Dire team pick. Lion. A lion. Getting lionized. Classic support of the month. Mm hmm. I fear to have against the Witch Doctor in particular. Not a bad hero in any game, really. Having two stuns, especially when you have a Viper on your team who really likes to have a lot of stuns. Not a bad thing to have. Radiant team pick. Next up is Nyx. Hero has shown some real results this season when he gets picked. Yeah. And so far, I mean, doesn't look like a bad time to be him. Witch Doctor. Like a big Southman too, and like a bunch of Pause One and Two heroes, like that don't yep. want to exist against Nick's Assassin. One of the uh, the big upsides to this hero in this particular game is uh, oh hello Tide Hunter. The Witch Doctor is like one of the absolute weakest heroes in the game into the Nick's Assassin. Like really cannot resist the Nick's at all. Some supports, you know, you can just do something to the guy and not at least give yourself a moment to not be foo. But Witch Doctor is so squishy, his stun relies on other things being around. He doesn't really have any kind of great way to dissuade him. And worst, worst of all, Neeks also can just instantly ruin any death ward he does. Simply press shard and then hope that Nyx doesn't do anything after you come out. Yeah, that's pretty much it, and that requires shard, and it's not something you're born with, exactly. Simply press shard, and hope Nyx doesn't just wait out of vision for one second. They, they have two uh, AoE stuns, so it's pretty miserable to be Witch Doctor in any case. Also true, yeah. Because, like, now you can't just buy Glimmer Cape and be invincible. Drown and Nyx? Really? Again? Didn't see how this went last time? Right. I mean, it's great in the Viper, don't get me wrong. You know, awesome. It's a good combo with the Dark Willow in particular. That's great. But really? Ask, ask Bray Bebe how good this uh, this matchup is. Five seconds. No respect for Quick, the Nyx or what? Pick Spectre on Hollywood team. Do it. Team oh, they're picking anti-mage. Oh, that works too. I mean, it's not the greatest the intro, but it's fine against the other three heroes. I assume he's uh, counting on Neeks to take care of the Drow Ranger for the most part, which honestly isn't even that bad of an assumption. Just assuming you ruin Drow's early game, it's okay into it because you can blink into her if you're strong enough. Yeah, I mean it's not. It's, it's the kind of situation where it doesn't just ruin Drow's early game. I mean she's kind of bad in an Aix, like the whole way through, really. She's never really at the point. As long as Neeks isn't like really failing, she's never really at the point where Neeks stops being that existential threat to her. Like the idea that Neeks can just pop out of ult and pop her is going to be going for like, unless this game goes a really long time, which I mean it is a big L team, but unless this game goes a really long time, and if it does go a really long time, then Anti-Major is going to be more dangerous than you. So. I have a Anti-Major, so I think this game is uh, looking, looking like a long one just yeah. by the lineups. 
But if this game is feature length, even if that is the case, it still doesn't really help the situation because if the game goes on forever, I think eventually Anti Mage just starts to take the advantage and doesn't really uh, lose it. Dire team back. seconds remaining five seconds remaining getting rid of the Lena I guess they probably saw Kitty practicing on the Lena there before uh, where she started this does mean that Kitty is going to get the last overall pick here radiant team pick Tiny mid, huh? Tiny. Interesting. Or maybe it's Neek's mid, that would be even funnier. And Tiny Hero's crashed, right? No? Yeah, pretty he's sure pretty bad. Ten seconds well, I guess uh, any trash hero can be great in the right game. There you go. This is one of those games where parody is like, uh... Meepo! <laughs> cool. It is one of those games where parody is good enough that you will genuinely see like good games on every hero at least occasionally. A Meepo gamer. Meepo I actually think... is not really dealt with by anything aside from the lion in this game. Maybe Viper, I guess. He's kind of bad into the nakes early. Yeah, uh, he's not gonna be. It's not gonna be as bad as like the uh, the Neek's Drow matchup is gonna be, but like. For a while, it's gonna be, you it's... know, Neeks finds a Meepo and pops it type gameplay. I guess. I mean, if Kitty's good at micro, then, like, Nyx is a single target hero. And it's kind of not really what you want against Meepo anymore. Because you can just, like, uh, once you get the whatever dig is on, it's pretty much over for Nyx. It's true, but that's a long time out. And it's, uh,. It's kind of disadvantageous to get there. But they are doing tiny mid, which is a little surprising to be honest with you. I think this, uh, this might be the Achilles heel in this lineup here. Maybe if Tiny was actually a good hero right now, this could work, but he ain't really. He ain't really. I do think, um, the Viper might be a bit more of a problem actually for the Meepo nowadays than he used to be. It's uh, certainly a hero where um, the change to the ult and to the break goo kind of benefited the Viper in the matchup because you can keep the main Meepo, if you can identify, you can keep the main menu Meepo broken, get rid of uh, a decent amount of his uh, damage and chase, and uh, you can make the lot of Meepos really bad at attacking you, which is pretty good upside. You also have uh, natural protection against Poof, which does not hurt. And you also got rocks in your head. Only good things here. <laughs> Fisher with the boys. It's oh. true. Check out Carp Sponsor this week, by the way. I don't know. Uh, I, don't, I don't think that happens in this game. I think the matchup is, isn't what good. This kitty's slayer, I mean. This couldn't have ended Good question. Way. Don't get short with me. Oh, uh, he learned how to trash talk from the Brits, I guess. Still a very good Nix game. Like, this is, uh, we've seen Turtles pull some good duty on Nix before, both in this season and the, the uh, Muerta season. So, we could, uh, we could see a lot of good out of the Nix this game. Like, it doesn't really matter if Meepo hypothetically doesn't care about Neek's Assassin if he's getting fed off of the Drow and the Witch Doctor and the Dark Willow and uh, ends up at a pretty big advantage, I think. You know, begins. definitely credibly. Well, they're getting kind of bluffed out at, the, uh, at that top rune there on uh, the Hollywood team. I think if... Uh, 
Well, they don't actually have the stun on Tiny, so they can't actually do anything about that. So never mind. Good luck, have fun, says Kyrex. And that uh, signals the time to begin everyone's favorite part of the cast, the roll call. On Princess and the E. coli outbreak, pause one, you've got Lad of Lads, 1K BFJ, who I don't believe is 1K anymore, on the Drow Ranger. Pause two, standing in for Princess, you have Kitty as the Meepo. Pause, excuse me, pause three, you've got Captain of the Team, Big Al, or uh, as his, um, as his clan tag implies, Gig Al, on the Tide Hunter. Pause four, you've got the Mighty Midget on the Dark Willow. And pause five, you've got Turtles on, not Turtles, Kyrix, rather, on the uh, Witch Doctor. Witch Doctor uh, giving a nice demonstration of why this Witch Doctor versus Neek's matchup is uh, not the best. Meanwhile, on the other side of the coin, Neek's Assassin really probably should have just stunned here, but it's probably going to be okay. Yeah, he gets to the tower, gets that, uh... At this point in the game, that one HP regen bonus the tower gives you is actually worth quite a bit. On the other side of the coin, on uh, Mac and Cheese, pause one, you've got Godlike Matt on the Anti-Mage. Pause two, you've got Warcarp on the Tiny. Pause three, you've got Majwani on the Viper. Pause four, Turtles on the Neek's Assassin. Pause five, Hollywood on the uh, Lion, captain of the team, by the way. So far, Bit of a stalemate matchup in mid. I don't know how much Meepo cares about that fact at the moment, anyway. What a bit of a stalemate matchup here in mid. Tiny down by a uh, King's Ransom of one last hit. May uh, change as the lane goes on. What do you think, Randy? How does this lane uh, change as it goes on? Meepo leaves. And yeah, probably. Doesn't care. More sure than likely. Changes when it goes on. I don't know. Seems kind of a uh, seems kind of like a coward type play on the part of Kitty, picking a hero like that, trying to yes. dodge Carp. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Tide Hunter already's got his soul ring, so uh, he's not going to be quite as miserable in this lane as he could be, but he is still going to have to be paying 170 HP to cast basically at all. This is the ultimate no mana lane, this anti-mage lion lane up here. It's very rude, if you think about it. Tiny throw a Meepo Beta into the uh, tower there, getting some damage out. Definitely wanted to stun there on the, uh, on the tower shots, did not quite get it. Meepo is starting to actually accelerate quite a bit as far as the farm goes. Drow, I gotta say, not really doing as good as I thought she would be in this lane. Thinks she really needs to get a point of gust pretty soon. Because when she gets a point of gust, she could just, like, kill the Viper over and over. He can't really do anything about that. One of the worst uh, offlane versus safe lane matchups, I think. That's, uh, that doesn't involve either an Ursa or a uh, Monkey King, anyway. Hey, you could run pause three sniper yeah. into pause one specter. You could. You just should. It's even worse now. It was already the worst matchup in the game, and now it's um, like unfathomably, unplayably terrible. And a lot of that is because pause three sniper is unfathomably, unplayably terrible. That's true. I mean, sniper and specter in general, technically, but. It's true. Our packet loss issue. Well, I was about to say, has seemed to have resolved for now. All it took to prevent that was, or all it took to change that was me tabbing out and looking at it. Bit of a shame. It shall not be. What can you do? Modem internet. True. Kyrick's making a big stack here in the jungle, presumably for Viper to take later. Should be better if that wasn't on the same team. And Tiny's gonna die. Hey, 
Tiny is not only going to die, Tiny is also going to get tipped by everybody in the game. And then he's going to say clowns. He's going to be really unhappy when he realizes his hero doesn't do anything in this game anyway. <laughs> and so, uh, this lane was the only, only possible place to have impact. I kill Kitty here. Okay, never mind. Zero actually. Oh my god, that was, uh, that was a great idea there. Picking up, using a branch to, uh, get a free tree in the middle of that fight. This is a little crazy. Purpose yeah, dead. Kitty went a Our little nuts not there. Dead. What happened to Nets? Right, whatever, well, what, what happened to Nets is, uh, they don't stop the tree throw. Yeah, that's true. Supports trade at topple. This is happening. It's fine. You know, stop the tree throw, or in fact the stun, or in fact the tower that was also shooting her. Anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I said it's the uh, overvalued Meepo's damage. It does the same thing she did. So. That's um, true. Her, I guess. Yeah, and he uh, he was smart there. He uh, he realized which one Meepo Beta was and. Uh, Went all in on that one, since uh, he does not have the small amount of additional armor and HP that the real Maple has right now. Carp's done. Yeah, Carp goes bot to uh, get rid of Drow here, which is not a bad idea, honestly. I mean, Drow's gonna have a crappy game, but she's not gonna have a crappy lane, and so uh, getting the drop on her here is a uh, definitely not a bad play. Gives Midge one need some space, some. Uh, some time to catch his breath and uh, turn around at least a little bit, you know. And uh, make Witch Doctor waste the last of his mana as well. Oh, man. Flatalize immediately getting a. <laughs> uh... Oh, nice root. He is not he brave enough alive. to. to uh, oh, no, he, it's not that he's not brave enough, it's that he has no blank off CD. Nobody's dying in this lane. <laughs> okay, there we go. Supports trade once again, and well, this time it definitely benefits Anti Mage since Tight Hunter is uh, routing. Anti Mage gets uh, farm freely for a couple of seconds, and what a convenient thing for him! His lane is also being pulled at the same time, kind of naturally by the effects of that fight. Meepo is uh, doing exactly what you said, has now abandoned ship at the actual mid lane to go to the uh, jungle and is buying all the green items in the world. This is like a uh, old fashioned drow build right here. Tidehunter, once again, he had just in literal seconds loses half of his mana pool. He's gonna have to be careful, actually, genuinely, about. Uh, about how he uses his mana and how he's going to like buy more because if he just becomes a big mana balloon okay kitty died in mid while i'm watching this uh go here at top that's not great she's kind of walked into the lane with a friend and died i don't know exactly what happened that's not great oh, big l actually stuck around got uh mana voided hollywood knows exactly how much damage uh, it's going to be to not get the kill there, and uh, Anti Mage walks away with it. Top tower is Tiny hasted, moving towards Carp bottom. Carp, Carp knows how to play in Sweepo. It seems you just uh, single target one, I guess. And since you're Tiny and you have like the most single target damage in the game, that works and doesn't screw you over. Well, it works until dig, I guess. Yeah. Hey, it still works during dig if you have stuns or silence. Well, not during dig, but it works when dig is available. With stuns or silence, anyway. So, an anti mage thing at top is already looking like it's going to be a, a problem that needs solving, because they can just kind of pick one guy on this team and make them have zero mana. Which is kind of an issue. I believe dig actually has a mana cost. Yes, it does. 125 mana. If one of the, one of the Meepos has... Uh, Excuse me, if one of the Meepos has no uh, mana, they can't actually dig, and, uh, well, that was a big debut of the, uh, the Nake's ult there. Just eats Drow in a half second. Your time has gone out. 
Offlane gets the, uh, for Hollywood, not, yeah, not for Hollywood, for Big Al. Offlane for Big Al gets Lion for free on the, uh, on the turnabout there, but probably not too happy about that trade, all things considered. You do have rocks in your head. If you look at the net worth chart, Tiny's actually walking out of this lane with a little bit more net worth than the Meepo is. I mean, that's not going to be the case for very long, but, uh... Definitely went better than it looked on paper, I think. No, 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 no. Almost to the point where Tiny might have impact in this game. Goodbye, Kyrex. Oh, okay. Little surprise. I think uh would have actually been better for Neek's Assassin there to tank tower hits to keep going. Then they get the draw there as well. And maybe get uh, rotations in, but he has Carapace for that, if they do. Randy is muted on Discord. Uh, I was gonna say Drow's miserable enough, I guess, that he thought it wasn't worth the risk to make Good. her slightly more miserable. Could be. Oh. We just need to make her miserable in a couple seconds here. And yep. Yeah. Don't pick this hero in the next. I think is over discovering. Yeah. It was... Well, we discovered it already in the Ray game, but yeah, <laughs> we're just rediscovering it. An almost unplayably bad matchup. Especially when you look at the real politic of like, okay, so I don't want to. I don't want to start talking about. You know, skill level of player, because that starts to get mean. But I mean, look at what happened last week when you had the Ray versus uh, Ladalad's carry matchup, right? I think you can say Ray Bay Bay is probably going to rank higher on most people's Pazlon tier lists in this league. So a guy who was sitting there had that much of an issue. Uh, Tide Hunter spat on himself. Guy who was sitting there had that much of an issue, right? So a lot of lads who's, you know, lower MMR and all that. I can only assume it's going to have the same problem worse, surely. Drow Ranger, by the way, is missing. If you're wondering. She's also had support net worth Meepo. Now at the top of the charts, unsurprisingly. And has uh, walked over the uh, mid-T1 while Tiny is at bottom watching Viper hit creeps and not doing anything. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Waiting for somebody to try and defend tower to show himself, it seems. But, uh... I mean, it's a blink dagger, so he can literally go on... For instance, anyone that this next skills on. Yep. Which, I assume they wanted to be the drow, but, you know, we can take the witch doctor if he's available. Yep. Viper. Could potentially build shard at 15 if you wanted. He's doing rather well for himself. I think this is the best lane Majwani's he's had so far this season, and that includes the one where he got the 2-0. They're chasing, yeah, they're chasing the anti-mage around. No, not surprisingly, they're not really, gone. yeah. Unfortunates. No blink things, I guess. Yeah. Meanwhile, Dire take out the bot T1 in response. Tiny looking at the Echo Saber. Meepo got that Diffy. Looking at Blink next will uh, probably help catch the anti mage at least a little bit, ideally. Of course, it is slightly unfortunate trying to get rid of the anti mage's Meepo for a very long time, because uh, he has the potential ability to counter spell nets and uh, losing a lot of damage of poof on him as well, so. Mighty Midget walking forward here. Trying to get people going under the tower. I'm going to go for the uh, the Tiny. Tiny actually in... Okay, I was about to say, Tiny in some amount of trouble. Oh, they actually missed all the stuns on Big Al because he TP'd too slow. Hmm. Oh no. My Twitch stream is reconnected.